Right, time uh, for the love of quiche, and I've got an interesting one this week. So, there was one more in the £2.20 bracket, which was uh, three cheeses, and I decided not to bother with that because I sort of know what cheese tastes like, and I, and I think, well, it's not going to be, I'm not going to change my mind on the fact that it's uh, too expensive for a quiche regularly. However, I did like the broccoli one and I've discovered that they do do a cheaper version but it's it's sold on the grounds of, of something else and that's the crustless quiche. Now this is the same sort of quiche we had last time so it's the broccoli and cheese but I don't know if you can see it has no pastry crust which I think is a bit odd because getting it out is not quite as easy as you might think because it has less uh, sort of a crust. It, it sort of, this is a fine example, I don't know if you can, if I can possibly show you, but you see it's already, whoops, where are we? It's already here, starting to fall apart. There we are. Um, I don't know why anybody would want a crustless quiche, because I like the, uh, the pastry as much as the filling. Um, it is smaller, but then of course it's less in price. This one in fact is only a pound, which is again not too much more expensive from uh, what I usually buy. So I could buy this regularly, but it is quite small. It's smaller than the other one. That's, oops, that's the whole quiche, so it's smaller than the other one. I'm sure it tastes just as good though. Mmm. Mmm. So I think I would buy this one uh, for a treat for myself, if I needed a treat, but I, 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 I'm not a fan of, creased, uh, of, of um, crustless quiches after, after seeing this one, and I think it would just sort of fall apart really, it's not, I much prefer the crusts uh, staying on. <laughs> mm.